Hello and welcome back to Josh Roddy YouTube. Today we're going to be doing some tips to keep your scores lower than they normally are. We're going to be giving you five simple things that you can do out on the golf course that are hopefully going to reduce them scores. Okay, so we've just hit a perfect drive to middle of the fairway. Now, we are 140 yards away to this flag. Pin is on the left-hand side of the green. So, our sensible shot would be to the right of it. You do not want to miss this flag left, um, as this is just going to lead to a tough chip shot and a really hard up and down. So. When I'm hitting iron shots into the greens, I'm really thinking about where's my miss? That's my priority. I'm not thinking about flag or trying to make birdie. We're literally thinking if we miss this golf shot, which 99% of the time you will, you're not going to hole it. Where do I want to miss it? So my miss is going to be to the right. I want to target probably 10 yards to the right of this flag. So I've got a bit of room. And if I pull it, I'm going to be close to the flag. If I push it, we're going to be absolutely fine. We're going to have a bunch of green to work with. So let's see what we can do here. 10 yards right of the flag. Ball's above my feet a little bit. So I'm actually going to go even further. We're going to go 15 yards right of the flag. Try and draw it in a touch. Okay, so a nice shot in there. Now we are on to the flat stick. We're gonna talk about putting. For me, there's two aspects that you need to do well when you putt. And number one is gonna be holing out, I'd say inside six feet, and then pace putting. Let's talk holing out first. So for me, holing out is massively important to this black line on the golf ball. I'd highly recommend if you're not using it, you need to have one of these lines. Now, this line, I will line up to one edge of the hole that I feel like it's breaking, or if it's dead straight, it would be at the center of the hole. Um, so this line massively depends on where the break is going. So this black line, we're gonna aim it to our aim point and then put a good stroke onto that line. So for me as well, when I line up the putter face, we want it all matching um, and it just helps me get everything square. So. Now we're just going to put a good stroke on it. In she goes. Okay, so now we're at 30 foot. We've got a, this is our pace putting area. So all I'm doing on this one, I'm not even really focused on line, to be honest. If this is quite flat, I'm just solely focused on pace. Um, it's a very rarity that you're going to hold one of these, but I would say your thought process needs to be, let's damage, limitation this. Let's just get the two putt, get it inside that dustbin lid. Um, a really simple one when pace putting as well. I actually don't like to practice swing. So for me, this practice swing in here actually throws me off a bit. When you go to throw something in a bin, you just go and do it naturally. Same as when I'm putting, I'm just gonna walk up to this, look at it with my eyes, and that's my feel there. I'm just now gonna feel it, give it a good look and go. And pace, not so bad. We're gonna be in for the two putt. Okay, bunker play. A lot of people dread this part. Um, and I would say for damage limitation for kind of the mid to high handicaps, all I'd solely focus on is getting it out the bunker. So just don't leave it in it, you know, um, limit the damage, make sure you get it out. So how are we going to get it out? For me, I like to envision a five pound note around the golf ball. So my goal is to take this whole five pound note out with my 60. So I'm going to enter the, the, club here behind the ball take that five pound note and splash this one out secondly my face is going to be wide open i'm going to get a touch lower to the ground and the hands are low i'm low and then we're going to open the face take that five pound note out and nicely out onto the green that is job done for the bunker play just make sure you get it out.
Okay, so par four, around 400 yards. Now, requires a good tee shot here. You have to get it in play. Um, there's two options, really. We've got a little bit of trouble around about 240 yards. Um, trees on the right, trees on the left. It's a tough tee shot, but on the right hand side, we've actually got another fairway that comes up here. So on the right hand side, we've got a hell of a lot of room. Um, now, you probably shouldn't do this, but on this hole, the safe shot is actually playing down the wrong fairway. Um, it leaves me a good line into the green, especially if it's a left flag. And, um, you know, there's not actually a lot of room for error. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit driver here. We're gonna aim at the widest place. That might be in the right trees, that might be right rough, but that's a place that we can hit it and know that we're not gonna get in any trouble. So happens there where you pull it and actually it's now perfect in the fairway and it's a beautiful drive. We've got another play where we go percentage. We've got two iron. So this one's actually gonna be the short side of 240. Um, and this is probably one that I'd use if I'm in a tournament and really trying to keep a score together. So let's go with a little two iron here. And sometimes it's important to note that don't always just pull that driver. Don't just assume that it's driver because it's a long par four. It's very important to get the ball in play and make sure you don't get the damage done off of that tee shot. You know, if you hit a bad one and pull it left with driver and you're in the trees, you're free of a tee. You know, you've wasted two shots. So, you know, pull a two iron, get that club that you know you can put back in your stance and just do the fairway finder. Not a very good strike, but it's down the middle. It's job done. We're in the fairway and we're probably never really going to make any more than five from there. So keep it really simple off a tee. You know, if you need to hit two iron, you need to get it in play, pull it out, get it in play. If you can hit driver to that widest part, you know, where there's no damage, pull the big dog, give it a rip, but aim wisely and aim for that point where you're going to miss it right, miss it left, and it's still absolutely fine. Okay, the last one, number five. Take your medicine. Don't go for that tiger shot. You know, we all want to do it. We all want to try and thread it through a gap that is two foot wide. Um, it's just not the sensible option. So damage limitation, you know, really keep the bad scores off your card. When you get in a situation like this, you know, you've hit a poor tee shot, you're behind a tree, just accept that you're going to have to take bogey, take double, keep the damage to a bare minimum. So. You know, if you find yourself in a tough spot like this, I've just got a seven iron here. We're just gonna bump it out into the middle of the fairway. Take your medicine. We're back out in play and we give ourselves a chance to make the par. So that is gonna be the five tips to keep all your scores down to the bare minimum. Keep the bad ones off the card and hopefully that reduces your overall score. If you did learn anything new, and you enjoyed that video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you all for the next one.